hi everyone in this lecture we will talk about recursion so recursion means defining a problem in terms of itself and it's a mathematical term but in programming the process in which a function calls itself directly from its own body is called recursion and the function is called recursive function and it is used to solve problems that can be broken down into smaller repetitive problems so i hope that you have understood the definition of recursion so when you call a function from its own body it is called recursion so let's understand recursion by writing a recursive function so let's suppose you are asked to write a function that will take infinite inputs from the user one solution is to use an infinite loop but you are bound to use a recursive function so for this purpose first of all let's define here a function and by the way i have created a separate python file for recursion with the name recursion.py inside this file uh, let's type def and then rec put these rounded brackets just put a colon and here let's ask the user to input a number so input and i'll say enter a number enter a number and i'll store this number inside this inp variable and let's print this inp variable print inp let's save it now if i run it this function will take a single input from the user and will quit the operation so let's call this function right here let's save it let's run it 52 and function has completed its operation but if i call this function right here after printing the input now it will take infinite inputs from the user so let's run it enter a number let's go with six hit enter so we got our number right here and now again it's asking for a second number because after printing this number python has detected that okay i need to call this function again and that's the reason why python is asking for another number so let's enter five and then another number so this process will go on and on and on until we quit this program forcefully let's hold control and let's hit c to quit it and let's delete it and here in this visual diagram let's suppose this rectangle is our function and then we have an other rectangle so this means that we are calling this function within its own body and then this process will goes on and on and on until and unless we reach a certain condition so now let's debug this same program and let's understand it more deeply so just click on this debug but before i actually debug it well, let me put some breakpoints so let's put a breakpoint right here 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 and here okay and now let's debug it so first of all python will execute line number one and then it will shift to line number six and here as you can see we are calling this function so the python will execute the body of this function and we need to write a number here so just type here five hit enter and this will execute now this line so just click on this and we got five and again python interpreter will call this function so you will notice that the pointer of python interpreter will move to this line number two again so let's click on this and yeah again we need to enter a number so just go with for this time hit enter and this will print our number okay and again we are calling this function so the pointer will move to line number two again and this process will continue because we don't have any kind of condition here so let me stop this debug now let's make this recursive function more interesting let's suppose i want to find the sum of all the numbers which user has entered so this function will take an extra argument so just type here number and after getting input from the user i need to add that number to this previous number so here i'll say number plus int i will convert this 
string to int and then INP input. But here I also need to update this number variable. So just type here number is equals to okay. And after printing, and now here instead of printing the number, I'll print the sum of the number. Okay. And now I'm calling this function right here. So I'll pass this number. So just right here and you m okay now this number this variable will have the new value not the old value and first of all let's start this recursion with number two okay let's save it and let's run this python file okay so enter a number let's enter two and we got four because we have passed two right here and the initial value of this num variable will be 2 and the python will add 2 with 2 and obviously we will get 4 right here and now let's enter another number maybe 6, 3 hit enter and this time we got 7 because if you add 4 with 3 obviously you will get 7 let's enter 5, 12, then 6, 18 and then 9 it will be 20 cents so as you can see now the number is updating so this is how this recursion works and uh, let's put a condition right here in this recursive function I'll say if input but uh, let's type here integer okay first if my input is less than zero so if user enter a negative value then I just need to return number okay so this is called short circuiting whenever you put a return statement uh, inside an if statement it is called short circuiting and now let's run it so let's enter a number 2 hit enter we got 4 then 5 we got 9 then maybe 10 we will get 19 20 we will get 39 but what if I enter minus 5 hit enter and our program has ended so this is how this uh, short circuiting and condition work in recursive function and I hope that uh, you have understood this recursive function and in the uh, next lectures uh, we will write some programs regarding recursion and you will understand it in a better way. And I'll see you there. Bye bye.